Malta was always one of these places that we spoke about going to see one of these days, but for years we never got round to it. A small island nation steeped in history, one of the most conquered countries on earth. We finally decided a visit was on the cards. We were lucky to notice that business class in a rare Malta flight was only £15 per head more than the economy, so we travelled in luxury for this one. Considering food and drink were both provided as part of it, I'd not be surprised if it ended up cheaper in the long run when you think about buying food etc in the airport or on the plane. If you see economy prices are looking more expensive, it's always worth checking out. It seemed like no time at all before we started the impressive approach into Luca Airport. We get picked up at the airport by my good friend Clinton, who drove us across the island to our hotel in the capital, Valletta. Welcome to welcome to Malta. Here we are. We made it. And Clinton very kindly dropped us off at the at the entrance to the city here. So we're going to go in. Going to go in and get to the hotel, check in, and then just relax. Right, here we are in the Osborne Hotel. Cracking looking place. Well, the first impressions of Malta. Oh, whoa, what a place. And we're in Valletta just now. I'm not going to show you too much of that because we are going to do a walk about Valletta at some point. Um, but we're going to Burgo just now. There's a special event on. Clinton and Isabella are taking us there. Let's go. Go to meet them just now. This is us coming into Burgo, have a look at this. The first stop in Burgo was the Inquisitor's Palace, the seat of the Maltese Inquisition between the 16th and 18th centuries. After the palace we set off to try and get to the Burgu fort before sunset. This would give us some of the best views across the Grand Harbour. This is one of these cases I wish I could get smell through the camera because it smells amazing. So. <laughs> Thank you. 
We got to the fort just in time. This is really cool. There's a better view from up there. Yep. The view from the top of the fort was nothing short of spectacular. We headed back into the main burger centre where the candle festival was going on. Can you use a Maltese drink apparently? Very bitter and orangey. There were goings on all over Burger for the festival, but the main event was live music in the main square. And anyone coming from Germany? Yeah! Hey! Hello! Hello! Good enough! Clinton and Isabella had shown us some great sights, even just on the first day. But it was getting late and we still hadn't eaten dinner, so we headed back to Valletta for a meal at Arishan on the waterfront. Alright guys, it's, uh, it's nearly midnight and of course we were up the crack of dawn this morning. And that's our introduction to Malta. <laughs> we're off to Gozo tomorrow, that'll be the next video. So, see you then, good night. If you enjoy watching our videos then please hit the like button and subscribe for more content.